secret meeting of the bandits. It is me, it's Ewan. I've got a new chord for you and a new song. The chord is D7. Now, we go to D7 from G a lot. D7 is here, it's these two ones, that blue one there and one surrounded by the red dots. So there's one surrounded by the red dots and there's the blue one. We In this song, we will be going from G to D7 and backwards a lot. So the way to get from G to D7 is to take this finger here off and away to leave those two there. And then these two that are left, they both go up one. So to go onto the blue dot and then surrounded by the red dots. And to go back again, you just move them both down to the red dots and put that finger back again. So from there, take it off, move it up. And to go back to G, move it down, put it back on. G to D7, this is G, take that off and you've got D7. And then eventually you should be able to do the, two, the, the movement in one. So the two and one, so take it off and move it up at the same time. That's what it is. G is here. There's G, D7. Now practice that all day until you don't have to look at it. It's not too far, it's not too hard. You can probably do it without looking, I think. Yeah. Now the chord sequence that we're gonna do for this, the song, G, C, G, D7, and again. G, C, G, D, only four beats, only four strums between each chord. C, G, D7, G, C, G, D7. Keep going, keep going. Until you can do it without looking. Do it until you can do the three times table. Three, six, nine, twelve. 36, 33, 30, 27. You go downwards. If you're really clever. Now that shows that your brain can do two things at once. So that is the, the, uh, the chord sequence for the next song. Next video, next song, 